hello there. This is uh, yet another episode of how to build a model house. And this is going to be a fairly short episode um, where I'm going to show you how to put any beams or columns up in your house for structural support. Uh, this may not be something that you need, but uh, depending on your design and your floor plan, you may need to have beams. Now, like I said in the last episode, my roof is going to be an A-frame roof like this and it's gonna go all the way across the entire house including right here but the problem is there's nothing to support it right here and so we need to put a beam up here and then we're also gonna put a beam right here and so there needs to be something supporting it right here and so I'm gonna show you how to put the beams in the correct spot and how to measure them and measure the column and everything now this is a tool that you might need it's called a Okay, I can never remember the name of it, ever. I don't know why. But it's just a round little stick, and you can buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's, and it's... I don't know what it's used for. I think it's used for, like, birdhouses. We bought a couple of them to build birdhouses a few uh, months ago, so that's why I have it. And so, let's get started. Now, the first problem I have is I have a support right here, but I don't have supports on the ends here. There's nothing for the beam to sit on. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out my own little way to fix that. So I went ahead, went ahead and I made a beam here by just gluing four sticks together and it's very strong, there's no breaking it, um, and it's about as wide as the top of the wall. All right. And what I did was I left uh, the three inside sticks a little bit shorter than the outside one because when we put it here, it'll actually be just like this. Now pretend this is in the air. This one will go to the very corner. And these ones won't because there's going to be another beam here. And if we just left this as the full length, the other beam wouldn't have any room to rest on top of this. And so we need to give it some room because that one's going to come this way. And uh, for my solution here, I just glued a second stick that goes up only that far. And then the beam, like this, this is just going to fit right in here. And I'll glue it in place, and then when you press down, I'll press down on that stick, and it won't bend. And then we'll have to add two pieces to the top of it, so it's the same height as these walls. But anyway, we're going to do that first. I'm not going to glue it yet. We're going to worry about this beam later. So, get uh, this piece. Now, the one thing you're going to want to make sure of when you're making these beams is that they line up with the floor. I didn't just guess by making that. I lined it up to where it's going to go. And that's how I got the length for this, and then it should be good up there. And now we need to be a little bit more careful cutting this and measuring it. Because we can only really cut it once. And so I'm going to put it here. And to make sure it's right, I'm going to put it on the side. And kind of draw the measurement. And then that should be a good measurement. And now... To cut these things, you need a saw, which I have right here. Alright, so I cut that, and it should fit right under there perfectly. And it does, it's perfect. So what we're going to do is first glue down this beam. Make sure you get a good amount of glue on the bottom of it. So put some glue. Make sure you really press. Now it doesn't need to be standing straight up right now. Keep it kind of vertical, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Alright, this is take two because I just glued this beam in the wrong way. Let's try this again. Now we're going to glue the beam in. Should get lots of glue in there. And then put it exactly where it should go. And press down. No, it, it should go to the very edge of the column because it goes to the edge of the floor and the column is on the edge of the floor. So make sure if you were to put it on the ground, it's in the same spot like on the column. Like, see how this column is up against the edge of the wall, or the edge of the floor, and the edge of the floor here? And this is against the edge of the floor. If you look down, 
and so is the end of this, so it has to kind of be the same. Now we're going to do the other beam. We know that this column is straight up and down this way, but how about this way? We don't know that yet. It's still leaning. It could still lean either way. And so we're going to cut the next beam to go from here to the edge of the floor and actually a little bit shorter than the edge of the floor because this beam goes to the edge of the floor. So it's going to be a little bit shorter. And then once we put it here, it'll lock this in place to where it should be. All right, now I'm going to show you the next step, which is very important. And you may not realize it, but uh, it's some, definitely something you need to do. Um, if you look at these top plates, the top plate of the wall and then the second top plate, you can see where they are, and then if you look at the top of the beam, you can see where that is. It's a little bit lower. It's actually two sticks lower. And we can't have that because the roof would be going, 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 and the roof would just drop down a tiny little bit, and it wouldn't look right. And so we need to raise this up a little bit, two sticks to be exact. All right, so uh, I did that, and as you can see, everything's nice and level on the top here. And... Uh, if you want, you can add one of those on the bottom just to make it look a little nicer. Um, but yeah, that, that's really it. So now our roof has something to sit on. And I forgot to mention, but this is going to be holding weight right here, this part right here. This is not going to be holding much weight. Um, there's just going to be a solid wall right here. And um, that's the reason I only made that two sticks wide rather than four, because it really didn't need four. And uh, so yeah, and now when you push down on this side, it pushes down on this stick so it doesn't fall. And when you push down here, it pushes right down on the column. And that column is nice and level with the walls, almost. And the walls are almost straight. Now this wall pushes out right here. And so we're going to uh, keep note of that. Uh, we'll be able to fix that. But... Uh, we can't fix it now. And um, so that's something that we'll fix later when we're doing the roof. Uh, but other than that, this house is looking pretty nice. And uh, in the next episode, I'll show you how to do the siding.